Austria's Chancellor Karl Nehammer has held direct, open and tough discussions with President Vladimir Putin in Moscow, becoming the first European leader to do so since the start of the war in Ukraine. In a 90-minute long sit-down, the Austrian leader called on Putin to end hostilities, citing serious war crimes committed by Russian forces. Nehammer previously stated that Austria is militarily neutral, but insisted that it had a clear stance on Russia's war of aggression in Ukraine. But speaking after the meeting with the Russian leader, Nehammer warned that the war is far from over. Well, I from... generally have no optimistic impression that I can report to you from this conversation with President Putin. The offensive is evidently being prepared on a massive scale. Well, now for more on the meeting, let's bring in our correspondent, Glina Polanskaya. Uh, Glina, good to see you. So um, the Austrian Chancellor was saying that the meeting with Vladimir Putin was direct, open and tough. Is that how Moscow saw the discussions as well? Good evening. Well, actually, the Kremlin keeps silent, no comments, no statements. After the talks uh, ahead of this meeting, President Putin's spokesman said that the leaders will discuss Ukraine, but also uh, the gas issue, and he stressed that this topic is extremely important for Austria, and indeed 80% of Austria's gas needs are supplied by Russia. But after the talks, no statements, no protocol photos, nothing. I've checked Russian uh, official papers or state media, just small articles really with some quotes of the Chancellor, uh, for example, saying that the talks were tough. But they did not uh, mention uh, that uh, he urged to stop the war that's uh, what the Chancellor's office reported, uh, saying that there were uh, there was uh, there will be no winners, only losers. That he urged uh, to investigate war crimes and warned that the sanctions will continue and become even more tighter if people keep on dying in Ukraine. But the Kremlin keeps silent.